Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on March the 13th, 2016. The title of the message is The Wedding Banquet. And the Lord Jesus began, Honey is sweet to the taste. This day I spread a table before you, full of everything sweet. I spread a table full of joy, love, hope, mercy, grace, kindness, goodness, gentleness, patience, self-control, faithfulness. Yes, my table is full of virtue, packed with the fruit of the Holy Spirit. I add to it tender and the choicest of meats. My word loaded down with every imaginable blessings. And for the babies, I have rich, creamy, fresh milk to nourish you as you grow into maturity. And yes, I did not forget the bread, fresh manna, the angel's food to make you strong and mighty. And oh yes, I did not forget the fresh wine pressed from fresh grapes, a comfort to your soul. Yes, my table is loaded down with sweetness, and for dessert, honey from the honeycomb, truffles, and all kinds of sweets that delight your senses. I have not forgotten anything. My table is surely ready for my guests. A banquet has indeed been prepared in your honor, O my brides. Whatever your heart desires, you will receive, and you will receive the very best part of it. You are guests at my banquet, and you will sit at the seat of honor, and my angels will serve you whatever your heart desires. I have been preparing for this for a long time. You will have every comfort. You will be surrounded by the brightest of colors. The flowers will sing softly as you sup. There will be the sweetest of music to accompany the meal, sweet perfume from the flowers, and you will be robed in royal gowns, fit for a bride, but not just any bride, but a bride fit for a king, and not just any king, but the only true king, I, Jesus, your bridegroom. The courts of Solomon or Xerxes cannot compare to my courts. My robes are made of handspun gold and the richest of linens, belts embedded with jewels and sandals of the softest of materials. Yes, you will be shod in comfort and seated as royalty. All will be equal, all beautifully adorned, every need attended to. When you think of something you need or want, before you can utter a word, someone will be there ready to serve you. Yes, you will indeed be treated as royalty, for that is what you are, my bride, and my delight is in meeting all of your needs and wants, and giving you more than you can ever think or imagine. Yes, my banquet is extravagant. My dinnerware is made of pure gold, embedded with jewels. My tablecloths and napkins are made of the purest linen, bordered in pure gold. Your place setting and the seat is marked with your name. Everyone will be seated in the place of honor. None will be above another, for you are all my brides, all equal, all important in my sight. We will dine in peace, and we will toast your great victory with wine. For the first time since I supped with my disciples during the Last Supper, I will once again taste wine. I have fasted from it because I was waiting for you to join me at my banquet, that we may drink it together as we share our love for each other in holiness. Yes, I will savor the taste of wine once again as I behold your radiant faces bathed in my Father's glory. For a moment, my heart and soul will forget the destruction that I have left behind on the earth as I enjoy our love for each other. My heart will be glad after being full of grief as I grieved for those I had to leave behind. Your presence will be like balm for my once grieving heart. Yes, we will rejoice in each other's presence and comfort one another in love. Your miseries that had surrounded you on earth will be forgotten. All the weight that the world placed on your shoulders will be lifted up and you will be surrounded by my Father's glory. We will mingle after the banquet. We will meet and greet each other with a holy kiss. You will meet your loved ones who had gone before you and embrace them in holy love. Heaven will be filled with laughter and joy. Little children playing together in peace, free to grow and explore in peace and safety. We will then dance in the ballroom, a time of great joy. We will be merry as we celebrate a long-awaited reunion. Yes, many of my children will be home, 
and we will rejoice as we await the arrival of many more who have to go through the darkness of the tribulation period. But for now, you, my bride, will rejoice as you will be free to explore the wonders of heaven. There are many who are eager to accompany you to discover the delights of heaven. They will show you every desire of your heart. There will be so much for you to discover and learn. Yes, my bride, there is still much to be learned, for we must one day return to earth to rule and reign for a thousand years. Remember these words, my brides. Shut them up in your heart. They are a hope for you to keep you looking up. I love you, my brides. I await your arrival in heaven. I love you, my cubs and the unsaved. My desire is that you will one day join my bride in heaven. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.